Good afternoon, students. Welcome to spring 2022 at Reedley College. And I'm going to go over some safe practices that are been added to your return next week to labs. So as you go into your bio 5, bio 20, bio 22, any science labs at Reedley College, you will be required to follow some of the safety protocols that you already know, which is going to be hopefully receiving a vaccine or an exemption. Number two, trying to encourage six feet distancing from others and of course masking whenever appropriate indoors. We're going to be taking this to the next level when we go into the lab. We're going to be adding three layers of security. Number one, you will be provided by your lab instructor with a KN95 mask. These look like the beak of a bird and when you take them you can see that you put them over your nose and mouth and it forms a really good seal in a cup. You can take the ear loops and twist it around to make it even more secure if needed. What's important is that when you don the mask onto your face, you want to clamp down on the metal piece of the nose bridge so that it secures your nasal region. We are also going to be recommending, not requiring, but recommending lab instructors to implement temperature checks prior to going into the lab room. So if you have a fever, anything over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you will be required to go home. So prior to going into the lab, your lab instructor will check your temperatures with the infrared gun and then mark that whether or not you can go into the lab or not. Last but not the least is we will be also adding additional HEPA air filter units into the lab room to keep the airflow clean. And we encourage you to keep the windows and doors open so that we have adequate airflow. All right, so keep that in mind that we will want to increase all of the previous guidelines set by the CDC that includes physical distancing whenever you can, hand hygiene, washing your hands whenever you can before you start the lab, disinfect your tables and your benches, and of course, end the lab by disinfecting the tables and benches. With that, I hope you have a safe lab. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. And if there are any issues, please let me know. Thanks.